her Thanksgiving testimony. Okay, yes. I just want to share my experience in our Voice of Youth uh, in Project 6, Bungabang Oriental Mindoro. So, hindi, hindi ko pumakalimutan doon sa Voice of Youth namin na yun ay may dumadalaw po doon. May dumadalaw na hindi tao. So, alam niya po ibig sabihin niyan. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, bad spirit. And, December 25 po, uh, may mga bumisita po doon. Bali po, ang mga kasamahan po namin doon, apat po sila. Yung tatlo po, naagapan po kaagad nila. Pero yung isa po talaga yung naposes. And good thing po, wala po ako nung December 25 doon ng gabi. At nung bumalik po ako doon, um, December 27, Yung araw po na yun, talagang pagod na pagod po kami, talagang maghapon, kahit umuulan, serenading, Bible study, kahit sakat-sakat na po ang katawan namin, okay lang. And gusto na po namin pahinga that time, mga around 10 na po ng gabi. And yun, bumisita na naman po siya. Dumating na naman po yung bad spirit na yun. Nako, edi puyat-puyat na naman po kami. Ay yun po naman, na na po ako ng gabi na yun. That was my first time po na makita ang isang ano um, napopossess po ng bad spirit. So talagang hindi ko po akalain na mangyayari po yun sa team namin. Talagang <laughs> hindi ko po ma-experience, ah, hindi ko po ma-express talaga yung kung ano yung feeling ko that time. Talagang nanginginig na po yung iba sa amin, yung iba naman po okay lang kasi second time na po dumalaw doon. Parang relax na lang, okay. Pero yun po talaga yung first time ko. Talagang nakita ko po doon kung gano'ng struggle po doon sa kasamahan namin. And then, yun po, natas po talaga din yung aming faith. Uh, Nag-pray po talaga kami doon. Talagang ilang hours din pong inabot. Talagang puyat-puyat po talaga kami. And uh, arami po niya sinasabi, arami po niya dinidemand. Gusto niya daw pong kumain ng ganyan, ganito, uminom ng ganyan. And... May gusto pa daw po siyang um, sapian na babae, sabi niya. Naglilihid. Oo, may gusto daw siyang... Kasi sa lalaki po siya sumapi, gusto daw po niya naman sa mga babae, sa amin. So, six lang po kami daw mga babae. And then, ang nangyari, pinainom po kami ng ano, ng, ng tubig na may asin para daw hindi makapasok yata sa amin yun. E di... E di... Ako, tapos si Merten, inom naman kaagad kami, bilis-bilis, sabi, ay no, inom naman kaagad kami, so, ganon. And then sabi niya, palilibutan daw namin siya, lahat ng mga babae, papalibutan daw siya, ipapag-pray. And then yun nga ang nangyari, kasi sabi niya, sa labas ng church na, kasi po yung pinag, um, istaya namin doon, church, sa labas daw po ng church na yun, dumadating na daw po yung mga kasamahan niya, mas matitindi pa daw po. And then sabi ko, ah, okay. Yun pala, ha? <laughs> sabi ko, okay, tingnan natin. <laughs> and then yung nga po, pinalibutan po namin siya and pinagpray po namin siya. Alam niyo po, um, na-experience ko po doon na talagang nagpipray ako, umiiyak talaga ako. Talagang sinurrender ko ng lahat lahat sa Panginoon, lahat ng mga doubts ko. Parang um, nawala talaga. Yung trust, nasubukan po talaga, sa lalo na po sa lahat sa amin, team. Alam niyo po yun, sinusundan nila yung mga gusto nung bad spirit na yun, ganyan-ganyan. Pero, sabi namin, after po nun, pag, pag po bumalik po siya ulit, hindi hindi na po namin entertain yung mga gusto niya. Kasi parang, nawawala po dun yung trust namin sa Panginoon pag sinusundan namin na ganito, ganyan ang gawin nyo. Parang, nasa yung faith namin? Di ba ang Panginoon? Sa mga ganang bagay, parang, tinitingnan niya kung hanggang Saan kaya tatagal yung mga faith ng mga kabataan ito? Iniisip din po namin that time na siguro masaya-masaya si Satan kasi parang yung iba sa amin talagang um, natatakot na sobra. Yung iba talagang umiiyak na kasi nga sa sobrang takot din. At sa situation din ng aming isang kagrupo na yun. So, uh, yun po pinaka the best experience ko po. Talagang nasubukan po yung faith namin. Naging stronger pa po. Yan, good thing, walang nasabihan sa mga babae sa amin. Nalo na ako. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Thank you so much, Ate Ethel from Bungabon Oriental Mindoro. And now, 
we would like to hear, to taste, and to see the difference, and also to feel the difference between the experience of being sent to the rural and urban areas. Yes. We want to hear it from you. We, uh, up first is uh, from the rural, rural area. Word. Rural area. Okay. Okay. So. Hello, good sir. Hello, hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Still awake? I'm a little bit sleepy. So, I was asked to uh, share to you about our experience in a rural, rural place. It's hard to pronounce. So, our group uh, was sent by God in Barangay Tagabinet, Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. Yeah. So when you, whenever you hear the place Palawan, what is the first thing that will come up into your mind? Beaches, right? Tourist spots, yeah. When uh, we were asked uh, to do a worship in that, in that place, I am also expecting a very good place. I am expecting a very Tourist spot place, <laughs> yes, because that is Palawan. Uh, I, uh, we, we cannot deny that that is what that Palawan is. But this afternoon, I will be showing to you a very different experience that we had during our Voice of Youth. I will share, I will show to you some pictures uh, that will show to you the kind of experience that we have. First, this is the uh, when we were there. This uh, we stayed in a school. And this is the office of the school. Do you still have, uh, do you still uh, saw an office like this in our place here? This is an office. Office yan ng school. Next po. Yeah, next. Okay. And this is where we are getting our water. It is from a spring, I think. And according to studies, that water coming out from the spring is an alkaline water. The water that we are using to wash our clothes, to take a bath, see? That's, uh, that is how rich our, the place is. And who among you know what is this? What is it? This, is. this is a generator. Very beautiful, right? That is where, because in, in the place where we, are, we have our worship, there is no electricity. So one of the elders of the church lent us this generator. And the first time I saw it, I said, will it work? Will it function? Because it is like a metal that you join together, and that's it. And if you will look at... <laughs> if you will look at uh, this, it seems that it will not really work. Next one. And this is our iron. The one that we are using to iron our... Clothes, wireless, <laughs> then wireless. See? Actually, at first I am so nervous because all, all of the my Sabbath dress are Sabbath clothes are barong, and I said it is in danger. But thank God, I survived. Wala po kalum kalum lang pastor. Shake and shake, and that's it. And this is how we cook. That is our speaker. <laughs> See? And that, that, that is uh, our experience during night time whenever we cook. It, it is camping style. And this is where we sleep. It looks like an evacuation center. <laughs> See? Sleep there, sleep. Uh, you can sleep anywhere. The room is very big. Just uh, make sure that the mosquitoes will not enter. And if you will look at the house, the kind of house there, I don't, I don't know what we call that in English. In Tagalog, it's sawali. I don't know in English. Balik mo And almost all of the house in that place is made up of the, that material. So it is really a promise. I think I only saw a stone 
uh, house made of stone there one once only next and this is where we are having our nightly meeting look at the place it is really very dark <coughs> okay. yeah but uh, you know after our uh, 12 days of stay in that place uh, God has been teaching us so many lessons you know when we arrived there uh, Friday I was asked to speak during the Vesper service but what was interesting is there is that uh, the church there uh, th doesn't have any light they only use this small flashlight I don't know if it is a flashlight to for them to have a light and it is uh, in front so the whole church if you will uh, have a service during night you cannot see the people so when I speak during vest the vesper service I don't know if the people are still listening or they're already sleeping. And that is a big challenge. I just uh, try my best to make it uh, appealing for them. But I think they are listening because when I sit down, they're still awake. <coughs> and if I will <coughs> summarize the lesson that I've learned in our 12-day experience in place, first is that sometimes we are uh, Sometimes we, we very much enjoy the things that we have right now, you know, the, the gadgets. And personally, I am a person who is very much a uh, fan of uh, spending my time in front of my laptop, uh, surfing the internet. And when I arrived there, I said, maybe I will not enjoy this place because I, I don't have any chance of uh, using my laptop because of the electricity. And most of the time, my laptop is uh, doesn't have any power. But then, as time passes by, I realize that it is more enjoying in that kind of pl place. Why? I forget all the things that I have to do. I forget all my requirements. I forget all the programs that we have to do in AY, and which means I became so relax. I, I was relaxed, and I have enough time to uh, somehow. Uh, have a refreshment and the next thing that God uh, teach me in that experience is that uh, during my past voice of youth all of the things that I need are there all of the uh, things that we need in the program are there but in this experience God teaches us to not depend on what we have but to depend on only to him and I was really uh, amazed with how God led us throughout our 12 uh, nights of stay there because despite of the, the despite that there are so many things that we do not have still God uh, helped us to uh, be able to do it uh, and as I end I would like to read the text that really teaches me a lot it's found in Second chapter 4 verse 6 it says there then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord of Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. So if, if there were times wherein you are doubting if it will be possible, simply because the material things that we need are not present, let us always remember that the success that we can have is not by our own might, but by the spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. But before, before I end, I would like to invite my group mates. Uh, they are so much inspired, that's why uh, we will uh, render a song. I will just do the action and they will sing. Pagsikat ng araw, puso ko'y namamangha. O kay ganda ng tanawin, nilikha mo sa
thank you so much. And for the foreigners, it was the song Tagalog. It was all about unworthy we are because of God we became worthy. And now we'll proceed to um, urban ministry. May imbag na adlaw, mga kakabisat. So, yun po yung natutunan naming dialect sa pinuntahan naming lugar. So, ngayon po, na-bless ako dun sa mga message at saka mga experience na narinig ko. And hope na sana uh, yung i-share ko sa inyo ay ma-bless din kayo. So, ang lugar po na pinuntahan namin ay medyo malapit lang naman. So, dyan lang po kami sa Isabela, di na pigi Isabela po yung pinuntahan namin. Um, kung meron po kami mga picture na i-show dyan, medyo magulo po siya kasi walang ano, yung sa, yung video namin hindi pa masyadong maayos. So, medyo magulo yung mga pictures. So, i-share ko yung mga naranasan namin. Um, Una sa lahat, in-expect namin yung travel namin ay 13 hours kasi yun yung sabi ng coordinator namin. So sabi niya medyo malayo-layo daw, mapapagod daw kami, mahihirapan kami at magpapahinga daw kami sa Baler Aurora. Doon daw kami magsa Saturday. So 6 to 6, madaling araw nakarating kami ng Baler pero 12 hours din halos yon yung narating namin. Uh, pagdating namin doon sa church, parang nag ano sila, may morning worship. So, ang ginagawa nila doon, pagtapos ng morning worship, nakita nila kami, nagulat sila, ba't nandun kami? Tapos, kinausap ni Kuya, yung coordinator namin, si Pastor, sabi niya, doon po na kami magpapalipas ng, ng Saturday. Pero sabi niya, ay, malayo pa yung pupuntahan nyo, di na pigi Isabela. So, mag-proceed na kayo doon kasi mahirap yung travel nyo. So, hindi namin na-expect Sa totoo lang na magkakaroon pa pala kami ng another 12 hours na biyahe. So, balis mga 24 hours po yung naging travel namin. So, dun sa travel namin, hindi namin makakalimutan na na-stranded din po kami ng mga 3 hours. Dun sa kasiguran, naghintay po kami. So, sabi nila na ano daw yung aming pagiging Adventist kasi um, for waiting nga dun sa bus na hindi namin na-expect kung anong oras siya darating. So, sabi nila... Baka daw hindi kami makasakay kasi isa lang yung bus na nagta-travel papuntang Dinapigi. Sabi nila, ano daw yun, siksikan, tapos puno. So, nung nakarating na yung bus, yun nga, hindi namin na-expect na ganun, wala na pong mapagkargahan yung mga gamit namin. Sobrang, sobrang siksikan na. Tapos yung mga lalaki po namin, doon na sila sa bubong umakyat. Tapos kami mga girls, uh, nakatayo na kami. Pagkatapos kami dalawa, ni Daisa, Doon po kami nakasalikod, tapos, so, ano po siya, hindi po siya, yung kalsada po niya, hindi po simento. So, doon sa ano, para kaming sa kabayo, sa likod, tapos may katabi kaming matanda na parang, yun, masis, mag, yung parang mababalian na siya ng buto doon sa likod. So, ang nangyari po, nakita namin, din di namin na-expect na yung dadaanan namin, 12 na, 12 na ilog. So, nilulusong po yun ng bus, pagkatapos mamaya gigilid sa may bundok, tapos bangin. So, pero nag-thankful po kami kasi nakarating din kami dun sa lugar na uh, yung, destin uh, yung destination namin. Uh, welcome kami dun kasi yung mayor dun ay isang Adventist. Adventist po yung mayor dun. So, pero um, explain ko lang po kung anong klaseng lugar yung dinapigi. Uh, so, mga lugar po sila ng mga Ilocano. Kaya nung una, nahirapan kami kausapin yung mga bata kasi pag nagtatanong kami ng pangalan, hindi nila maintindihan. So, dapat yung, Anya, tinagan mo, ganon, tinuruan nila kami ng magsalita ng Ilocano. At uh, ang ano pa, maganda doon kasi ang gamit nilang electricity minsan ay solar. Yung binibilad sa araw, tapos kapag gabi, saka siya umiilaw. Tapos, uh, ano pa, Wala din pong signal doon at saka hindi din po namin na-expect na ang Xerox doon ay 3 pesos ang isang Xerox. Akala po kasi namin okay siya doon sa lugar o katulad lang ng Mindoro, ganun. Pero kaya po yung mga gamit namin hindi masyadong na-prepared. So yung mga
mga parang color-color dun sa mga bata, 3 pesos, so sobrang mahal po. Pero okay kasi um, meron namang ano, yan, mga blessings na dumating. So yung program po namin, every night, ay bago po kami nag-umpisa, dahil dun po sa dinapigi, uh, uh, virgin territory po, sabi. Kasi first time lang nila nagkaroon do ng VOY. So hindi po ganun ka-prepared yung mga uh, members at uh, kokonti lang din po sila, siguro mga five families. Pero yon naramdaman po namin yung support nila sa amin. Uh, yon binibigyan din nila kami ng pagkain minsan. Yan. At minsan po naliligo kami ng... Yan. Pagkatapos po namin mag-serenade sa mga bahay-bahay, uh, naligo po kami ng dagat. Pero yung dagat po doon, malalaki talaga yung alot, pero may kasama na kami. So, um, na-bless po talaga kami sa nangyari doon sa amin. So, marami pa sana po akong sasabihin. Basta doon sa isang lugar na yon sabi nila, ano daw yun eh, little tondo. Pero, ang um, mga tao doon, sa sa city, pinapansaraduhan ka. Pero dun sa kanilang lugar, pagkatok mo pala, kasi may pasok kayo dito. Tapos kapag madaling araw po, sabihin, ay sige, kape muna kayo kasi po sobrang lamig dun. So, sige, kape daw kape. Pero kahit, mm, syempre, hindi po matatanggihan, syempre, kuma nagkakape din kami kasi gano'n talaga. So, so <laughs> pero kasi yung gano'n talaga dun eh. So, uh, every night, minsan nung December 24, tapos nung January, Ah, nag-brown out po, pero okay naman kasi nagkaroon ng kuryente. So, ang nangyari sa amin yun, blessed na blessed po kami sa mga tao doon, sobrang saya. At yung mga backslide po, naibalik namin sa church kasi kulang po talaga sila sa inspiration at saka encouragement. At meron din po kaming na, ano, na isang family at mga tao. Yun, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong ano, pakikinig at yun po. Thank you po sir. All right. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that last testimony. Now. Now we we also want to hear from urban, from urban area. Another, another one testimony. From the, another another testimony from the urban area. Uh, voice of white. Uh, voice of youth teams. Uh, please come over, ma'am. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Sabbath. Although this is my first time to join VOY, um, it was really unexpected na maka, maka join ako ng VOY because sinabihan lang ako or nalaman ko lang na uh, makakaputa ako ng tagig one day before arrival namin. So, um, personally, I was really amazed because I believe that God chose me to be there and I was not an accident to be there. So, naging head lecturer. Tapos, nung kalagitnaan na, <laughs> naging children coordinator na ako. So, ako, wala akong, wala akong experience sa pagtuturo, wala akong experience sa kahit anong, ano, pagsasalita sa harap. Especially, um, pagsasalita sa harap ay witness ko talaga. At, <laughs> so, uh, napaka-amazing talaga kasi, um, no first day, wala talaga umaten kahit isa. Wala talaga. Kasi yung place namin, napakahirap niyang puntahan. Tapos, baha pa yung lugar. Baha. Parang, ang tawag na namin dun is, ano eh, yan! <laughs> yung harap niya, dun yung place namin. Tapos, pag umuulan, sobrang maputi. Kaya napakahirap puntahan yung lugar na yan. Tapos, sa second floor pa, medyo delikado. Yan, 
sa akyat. So, first day is, wala, hindi naman, na, ho, hindi kami hopeless, pero, na-challenge kami talaga ng sobra-sobra. <laughs> Yun. Tapos, um, second day, medyo may mga umatend na din, mga ilan, at doon namin nakita kung gano'ng humigilas yung Panginoon sa amin. Kasi, alam namin sa sarili namin na wala kang magagawa. Parang, kahit na kung effort namin, wala talaga makabunta, pero ang Panginoon siya yung nagdala ng mga tao sa amin. Yes. Tapos, um, although hindi naman ako masyado sa mga matatanda, ako talaga yung sa mga bata. Um, yung mga bata, eight, almost 80 yung mga bata namin. 80 na mga bata. So, maliit na yung venue, pero punong-puno ng mga bata yung paghahapon. Tapos, halos hindi ko wala nang maupuan. Yung ba nasa, ano na lang, nakabuna lang sa floor. Yun. Sa mga bata naman, uh, grabe, parang talo mo pa yung may love life pag, pag kasama mo yung mga bata kasi ang lalambing nila, tapos talagang active sila doon sa amin. Kahit yung mga bata, um, yung mga bata, yung environment kasi doon, yun yung environment na marami nagda-drugs, marami nag nanigarin, yung mga bata pa lang nagiinom na. So, sila, dun sila na-expose. So, uh, hindi naman kami nahirapan sa mga bata masyado, kahit magugulo sila. Pero, thankful kami kasi na-share namin sa kanila yung mga about health, about um, pag-iinom, about sa family, yan, sa mga good morals, yan, na, na-share namin. Tsaka si Jesus, pinagawa nga namin sila ng ano eh, letters kay Jesus, at yung mga bata, marunong na sila magdasal. Kaya, ako personally, na-bless ako. Kasi, yung mga bata talaga is, sobrang, yung mga letters nila, sabi nila, ate, sobrang natuto kami sa inyo. At sobrang masaya sila at gusto nga nila bumalik ulit daw kami next summer. So, ayun po, uh, sa environment po doon, nahirapan talaga kami sa mga tao. Kasi um, yung mga tao doon sobrang busy, talagang ramdam mo yung ano, yung sense of mission. Ha? Ha? Ayun, tsaka marami palang muslim sa lugar na yun. Kaya, uh, medyo na-challenge talaga yung team namin. And, um, ano ba? <laughs> um, yan, natutunan ko din sa VOY. Yan, yung baptism. Yan, si Kuya Leo. Yan, natutunan ko din kay Kuya Leo. Kahit nag-iisa lang siyang um, nag-decide, ay nanginiwala ako na Tuwang-tuwa yung langit, kahit may isang, may isang tao na nagbalik loob sa Panginoon. Ayun. Yan si Kuya Leo. At nung nag-testimony siya, talagang naragdaman namin na talagang converted na yung heart niya sa Panginoon. Yan. <laughs> um, yan. Ako personally natutunan ko yung sa BOY is character building and self-sacrifice talaga. Matututunan mo na idina yung sarili mo sa kahit na nahirapan ka na, hindi mo indahin yung hirap kasi masaya ka sa ginagawa mo. Thank you so much, Ate. And now, our next is to be interviewed are the interdepartmental. Yeah, interdepart interdepartmental. We already have one. Members. So, who, who are these interdepartmental members? They yeah. are representatives from each colleges. Yes. If you have teams here that has a representative from each of the colleges here at AUP, can you please uh, come over in front so that we can uh, interview you? Like assorted, like College of Dentistry, Theology, College of Arts and Humanities, Arts and College of Science and Technology. College of Theology. Come over. Don't be shy. Come, come. College of Business. Uh, 
So those who are assigned from different college, from different de departments, I'm inviting you here in front. Maybe I've, I've assigned from math department, from music department, math department, and right. fine arts, music, at the end, and then dentistry at the end. Please, at the end. Please, at the end. And the others, please come here. You would like to invite no, me to sit here. Can you please sit in front? Thank you. Yeah. So we have how many? Three. Okay. Eight colleges or the courses. Ah, uh, Pastor Ron has an announcement, guys. Okay. Um, I have here the tentative report, accomplishment report. I have only 25 teams in my hand. So if your team has not um, submitted your report yet, please report it now so we can have, uh, I am, you know, uh, the um, administration is asking me for a report, but there are uh, still 16 teams who have not reported yet. So please uh, submit it today, including your financial report as we have this uh, program going on. Okay, thank you very much. Because we have still, you know, I believe those are the places uh, who have reported yet, uh, who have reported already. Okay. So if your group is not there, we need your report now. I received three. Um, three more or two more. Para sa tatlong tao. No more? College of Theology. Walang representative. COT? Wala. Oh, no. you already have one. He, he, can you know who the representing, representing Fine Arts Department? Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's an oh. artist. Okay. Who else? We have from College of Business, from College of Arts and Humanities, from College of Dentistry. How about College of Health? College of Health, your health lecture. Uh, College of Health. Howard, Is Howard. Ito lang po. Howard. Okay. You, uh, seconds to introduce yourself and what colleges you're representing, and in your field, what is your role? Um, good afternoon. My name is Wilmer Jim Estrito. Um, I'm, re I'm representing uh, the Fine Arts Department. I'm the interest coordinator of uh, Hermosa Pataan team, and I Good afternoon, Happy Sabbath. I'm Alisa Ashley Tagle, representing College of History, and I'm the health lecturer. Yeah. Health lecturer. Good afternoon and Happy Sabbath. I am Diane Ferry, but uh, my nickname is Bian, and I am a fourth year music student from music department. I am a music coordinator in our group. Music coordinator. Okay. So good afternoon everyone. My name is Hernando Naig II. Can you call me GN. I am fourth year, uh, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics from College of Science Technology. And my role in our Voice of Youth is a uh, music coordinator slash program coordinator slash that's all. Wow. <laughs> All around. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sabbath. I'm Felix Rolion, uh, a regular third year, presented by uh, Evit, uh, College of Theology. Uh, my office in BOY team, uh, speaker, as a, as, a, as a speaker. Hello. Happy Sabbath po sa ating lahat. 
Siguro tataka kayo bakit daming dalawa ang theology dito. Uh, sa amin talaga, yung aming representative ay si Luel Ver Vernel. Kaso nagkasakit siya yung, ano yun? Basta sa, sa chan, kaya minabuti na lang na ako na lang mag-represent sa amin. Kaya nandito po ako. Ako nga po pala si Gerald Terana at ang part ko po sa amin, kami po ay na-assign sa Mabuhay City, Laguna. Ako po yung overall coordinator. Hello. Um, good afternoon and happy Sabbath to all. Um, I am Joshua Casis, uh, first year medical laboratory science. I am representing College of Health. I'm um, children, children's coordinator. Ako. Good afternoon. I am Dorina Mayu Ferry and I, my role in the VOY team is health lecturer. But I'm from College of Education, major in English. And now, we will only ask one question, and of course, all of you will answer it. So, Let's start here. Then let's end there. since we're running, I think we better start there. Since we're running out of time, the question is, how does Voice of Youth help you to become an efficient and more effective in your courses and in ministry, in the career now? How does VOY help you to become more efficient and more effective in, the, in your chosen field or career and in ministry? Um, before, I, before I'll be as, um, answering that question, it is my passion to join VOY. Since then, when I was high school, I really loved to to go out to just explore and because through going to different places, ministering to other places, I learned many things. So I also learned that every day we have a mission and I joined VOY not only because I need experience or not only for enjoyment that I'm with my friends, but because there is a desire in my heart to minister to people, especially to those um, very far away places that have not been reached the, the word of God. So to answer that question directly, um, since my role in that VY team is health lecturer and I'm an education major, I can say that it is very beneficial for me because it gives me an experience to teach to, uh, to public places. And fortunately, the Holy Spirit have dwelt in our hearts that we, we had um, taught them the healthy lifestyle of Adventism. Hello. Ah, it's okay, Tagalog. Hello. 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 So for me, bilang medical student, ang effect para sa akin ay nakatulong ako sa mga taong kumuha ng blood pressure because no every time ng visitation kami, hindi maiiwasan na tatanungin ng isang teammate, isang teammate, sa isang team namin na uh, alam niyo ba yung blood pressure nyo? So, of course, I'm a medical student no, sa EUP. Nakakatulong ako para makakuha ng blood pressure nila. And unfortunately, yung iba high blood, yung iba naman low blood. Yung iba, normal. <laughs> so, he, he, Kuya is from College of Health, but he is a children coordinator. Wow. Nakaka-high blood yung kanyang testimony. Okay. Ako naman... Wala, daw na mag-ano ng high blood. Ako yata yung papa-high blood sa grupo namin. Ha? Uh, ako po yung overall coordinator sa aming grupo. Uh, you are from College of... Ah, theology. College of Theology. Hindi lang halata. <laughs> Kasi makulit ako. So, ano yung tanong? Pwede sa Tagalog, please? <laughs> Paano yung VOA nakatulong sa'yo para mag... Ma ma-develop or maging mas effective at efficient sa course mo tsaka sa ministry. Ah, ayun ah, pala yun. So, ah, uh, yun nga. So, 
ako, kahit na ako ay sinasabi natin na theology, no? nag-aaral tayo ng salita ng Diyos, pero dumating din sa point sa mga buhay, huwag niyong, huwag niyong isik, huwag niyong ano yun ah, ah, ito ito? Para ba ito? Ah, mm. Tayo na, kahit tayo theology student, dumating sa punto na tayo nanghihina, ganoon po ang nangyari sa akin, na uh, mag-iisang taon na ako, ay hindi pa, Bago lang naman ako, freshman ako, pero hindi lang halata sa itsura ko kasi matanda na ako. So, dumating sa point na parang ah, nagiging parang hayahay na lang ako ba? Hayahay lang kasi junior student naman ako. Pero nandun pala sa point na pag ano rin pala, pag masyado ka nang naging hayahay, ay mawa, parang ano ka, manlalamig ka. So, dun sa, dun sa nangyari dun sa amin sa Voice of Youth, Ako yung nagpapasalamat sa Diyos kasi yung aking mga kasama doon ay matatanda na rin po. Opo. Andiyan si Ivan Lusong, si Ryan Corpus. <laughs> Ibig sabihin po matanda yung kaalaman nila sa akin. Kasi yes, matanda pa ako sa kanila. Kahit mat- yung kaalaman nila matanda, ako matanda talaga. Matanda, inaamin ko na matanda ako. So, pasalamat ako pati yung aming mga health lecturer ay mabuti. Yung aming mga medtech. Bagaman may mga... konting diferensya, ay talagang dapat natin mag-grow. At, ay, hindi diferensya na sa utak, ha? Yung ano ba, may yung konti mga konflik-konflik, hmm, konti lang naman. Hindi masyadong malaki. So, ako yung pumasalamat sa Diyos at na-assign ako sa grupo na talagang, talagang ano ba, yung, o, oh, train na sila. So, para ako yung train sa kanila. Kaya, time for. Uh, magandang hapon po sa lahat. Uh, that time po ng last semester po ay hindi po ako nakapagsimba po ng isang semester po may git. <laughs> From college of? Opo, yun po ay uh, theology po. <laughs> sorry po, sorry. Okay. Kaya sabi ko, Panginoon paro maging effective ako sa gawain. Tinanong ko yung Panginoon. Tapos po, in po ako ng aking kaibigan na si Edimar na pwede ka mag-speaker ba sa amin? sa amin sa, ano, sa Boys of Youth. Okay, nagpo-okay kagad ako. Kasi sabi ko, itatry ko yung best ko at magpapagamit ako sa Panginoon. The time na ako po ay nagtatravel po kami, ang hiling ko lang po sa Panginoon po ay isa lang. Isang kaluluwa lang. Isang isa lang talaga. Pero alam po nyo mga kaibigan, marami na po ako napunta, naging lema na po ako, nagsisermon pa ako na madaming tao, Never po ako umiyak. Pero first time ko na umiyak po sa Boys of Youth. First night po namin na meeting po, doon po ako umiyak. Na nandun pa lang yung balance ng Holy Spirit na kapag ikaw ay magpagamit sa Panginoon para maging effective, bawalain mo ang lahat. Kahit cellphone po nakapatay. Lahat patay. <laughs> Pero dito ko po naranasan, minsan po pinagtatawanan po ko ng iba. Uh, yung nagministry po kami pa uwi po. Sabi ko, sino ba ako at anong mukha ko para sa kanila? Pero yung minsahe na binitawan ko sa mga kaibigan natin sa barko po, naging payapa sila po. Maganda yung travel namin. Siguro naka-spend po ako ng... Siguro po, yun na po yung IT boy na yata ginawa ko doon sa barko. Pero, pag inaano ko yung aking po mga kasama, sabi nga nun, didiritso ka na, wala kang pasintabi ah. Sabi sa akin, wala kang excuses. Sabi ko, naranasan ko yung lahat ng tao nakikita ko po sa barko o sa, sa bus na sila po ay nagpipreach. At may dala-dala po ang sobre. Sabi sa akin ng kasama ko, mag-ano ka din pumasa ka din ng sobre? Hindi, sabi ko. <laughs> Hindi dapat yan. Ang atin ay ministry para sa Panginoon. Amen. Yun pong the best. Thank you, Kuya. Ayan. So, okay. So, from College of Science Technology, ayan. Sabi ko last year, nakikita ko po uh, may mga... Ako mga kaibigan na nagsasabi na basta experience nila na sa Voice of Youth last year. Uh, during that time, bago pa lang po ako dito sa AUT. At sabi ko, 
Ah, kay, gusto kong gusto kong umattend, gusto kong ma-involve sa sa Voice of Youth. Kaya sabi ko, on that very moment nung last year December, sabi ko, this year December 2014, I need to be involved in the Voice of Youth. At praise God talaga na tuloy po ako. Nandito nga kasama ko mga kagrupo ko, ayan, si Dan Mar, si Ate Alpha, si Ate Lynette. At sabi ko, hindi ako pumunta Pumunta ako dito sa AUP para pursue yung course ko. Hindi lang i-pursue yung course ko para ma-involve din ako sa ministry. Kaya ang um, nakatulong siya sa aking career kasi sabi nga ng Panginoon sa sabi ni David sa uh, Psalms 37 verse 4, Delight yourself unto the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Kaya kapag Kapag nakapag uh, dedicate tayo sa gawain ng Panginoon, lahat ng at ng desires natin puso, ito mga career natin na ating pinupuso, tutulungan tayo ng Panginoon kahit anumang kahirap yan. So yun po. Amen. Ate? Good afternoon once again. Um, since I was grade 6, um, I really love ministry. But my first time to join BOI was um, third year high school thing. And from that time, I was a music coordinator until now. I, and I, joy, I think I joined seven times in BOI. So, I choose music as my career because I want ministry. And that's wow. why, um, balik tayo yung question, di ba? I, ano yung sabi question? How does BOI help you? How BOI help me? But, um, magbalik tayo yung, yung ano kayo sagot okay. ko. I choose music because I love ministry. So, wow. So Thank you. Ako naman po ay uh, yung pinaka uh, ito treasure ko na nakuha ko sa BOY is yung nag, natuto akong uh, mag-approach sa mga tao kahit yung mga first meet pa lang kasi ako po talaga ay uh, hirap kapag yung mga uh, hindi pa kakilala so doon ko po na-experience na yung ako mismo yung mauunang bumate tapos uh, as a health lecturer po syempre ako rin po yung nag uh, to take ng blood pressure. At uh -huh. every time po na magtitake ako ng blood pressure, ang lagi ko pong uh, pinapag-pray, dun po, dun po ako nakaranas nung uh, every time na magtitake is pinapag-pray ko talaga yung tao na sana po ay normal yung BP niya. So, um, naranasan ko dun yung na-feel ko yung concern at yung importance ng every soul na kukunan ko ng BP. At uh, I think malaking tulong yun as a dentistry student kasi marami ka mamimit na patient. Uh, parang nakatulong yun para uh, each, uh, each soul na mamimit ko doon as a patient ay ipapag-pray ko at ilalapit ko sa Panginoon. Wow. And lastly, Kuya Wilmer? Um, sa ano man, uh, actually, dalawa kasi yung course na kinuha ko, yung SI Fine Arts, yung SI Theology. At yung dalawang yun ay, uh, ang BOI ay nag-provide na ng opportunities para masharpen yung dalawang skills na meron sa, sa dalawang course na yun. So dun sa, sa pagiging Fine Arts, meron kasi yung times na nauubusan ng materials yung sa mga children's, yung, mga, yung children's coordinator namin, nauubusan mm -hmm. ng materials. So ano kailangan na mag-customize kung ano yung related dun sa story nila kinailangan ng uh, material so the drawing agad tapos pa sa mga bata tapos yun meron na agad uh, maiyahanda doon naman sa kabilang banda yung uh, humanitarian skills na natuwa talaga ako sa opportunities na pinavride ng Voice of Youth na to kasi dito ko lang naranasan na doon sa mga binible study namin talaga ay doon mas mara marami talaga yung mga naging receptive at tumanggap so mm -hmm. I feel so humbled yet privileged na magamit ng uh, Panginoon, ng Holy Spirit para mapagdala yung pabalita doon sa mga taong yun. At it's just so fulfilling yung experience na yun na yung mga taong uh, pinabalitaan mo ay sila rin yung mga taong inilubog doon sa tubig na yun at tumanggap sa Panginoon. You know? Okay. So, this question, it is intended to all of you but only to can volunteer to answer. Um, what do you think is the advantage of having all the interdepartmental, the colleges, in a one team? Like, complete, lahat ng college is isang team. Okay. 
Get, gets niya? Ano yung, ano yung, because sometimes college, from College of Education but she became a uh, health lecturer or from College of Health pero magiging children ministry siya. Gets niya? So, that's another proposed program for us that we will produce team with interdepartment. Lahat ng college and doon. Gusto niyo yan? Para kung saan talaga tayo, we have heard their, their testimonies, their answers that VOI really help to sharpen their skills. So, sasagot. What do you think is the advantage of um, having a team with a complete inter interdepartment or college as a team? Ah, uh, sagot ko sa, syempre advantage talaga yun na kapag kumpleto yung skills na meron sa grupo. Kasi kumbaga all around ang magiging ang magiging kakayanan ng grupo. Uh, pero syempre hindi hindi dahil sa kakayanan ng grupo kundi sa ginagawa pa rin ng Holy Spirit. Pero I mean sa experience na meron kami, uh, tuwa talaga yung church dahil sa service na ipinakita ng mga kagrupo namin na talagang mayroong unity. Mayroong unity at mayroong tawag dito, variety, variation yung bawat skills na pinapakita. Dahil doon, dahil iba-iba, sa kada iba't ibang aspeto may magagawa, mas nagiging mabilis yung gawain. Kaya maganda talaga na package yung, ano, yung VOI team. Sa akin naman po, ang kagandahan po doon kasi lahat bawat uh, colleges ay may kanyang-kanyang talent. So sa education, sa teaching, so... So, yung mga talents na yun, sa different skills ay magkakaroon po ng um, unity dyan sa VOI. Kasi magagamit na ng kanilang mga talents according to their uh, abilities. Hindi naman di pwede na uh, dahil lahat theology, eh, lahat sila magsasalita. Siyempre, meron din siyang uh, music na kung saan eh, siyang bahala sa music. Meron din education na magtuturo. Meron din sa mathematics, mag siya bahala sa program. Sa lahat po, may kanyang-kanyang, ano po yan, bawat talents, bawat abilities. May kanyang-kanyang uh, kampanya niya sa gawain ng Panginoon. So, kailangan iba't iba talaga, huh. iba't iba talaga yung uh, department. Yeah. yeah, yun po. Thank you so much. And now, thank you for sharing to us and now we're going on to interview a representative from our faculty he's no other than sir pasamba <laughs> sir saan yung timer natin kasi mahaba ako magsalita eh Alang timer? Ayan. So, I praise God for uh, all the Voice of Youth teams. Uh, talagang yung nakasulat sa si Joel 2, 28 to 32, Acts 2, 17 to 21. Uh, the, the Spirit of the Lord shall be poured out unto all flesh and men, young ladies, young people, old men, old, uh, shall prophesy. Shall prophesy. Kaya talagang when I see the whole uh, God's work in a large perspective, including Voice of Youth, talagang it is happening. Especially when you read last day events, sa loud cry, lahat yun. Ang daming nag-outreach, ang daming nag-Voice of Youth, ang daming, so many things happening. Uh, talagang it is really nearing the end of time. Amen. So in the Voice of Youth, uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I learned how to pray. Dati kasi nag-united prayer lang. Pero dito ako nalututong manalangin kasi pag talagang low na low na pastoron and you realize the largeness of the work and you realize the limitations of your mind, your attention, your strength, the limitations of your team, ano listen? Your training, and wala kaming training, and you really have to, you know, hold on God. 
and uh, leave God uh, to God the results. And also, I used to prepare whole day. Kasi nga, hindi na ako marunong mag-prepare. <laughs> Na-translate ko lang yung new beginnings. But, uh, nung mag-pray na lang ako ng mahaba, mas madali pa lang mag-sermon pag nag-pray ka ng mahaba kaysa nag-prepare ka ng mahaba. O siguro, pareho lang, siguro. Pero, and there's really lots of work to do. If you try to simulate all the things you are supposed to do in Voice of Youth and divide it across all the teams and divide it across all the people in the community, you will try, you will never reach really 100% uh, everything. So talagang, we are very small people doing a big, big work of God. Yun ang aking naintindihan. And also my first time to visit homes and most of the people who attended the meetings were parang Adventist. Pakiramdam ko, pastoron, Adventist sila. Kasi kita mo naman sa mga mata ng tao kung gets na eh. Di ba? Yung audience, may speed din yan eh. Pag sinabi mo, tapos hindi sila nakaka-gets. Pero pag mabilis, and praise the Lord, noong una namin Voice of Youth, three years ago, nakaka-one presentation lang ako every night. Kasi mabagal ako mag-Tagalog. Hindi ako marun mag-Tagalog. Siguro yung audience, ganun din. Pero this time, uh, we were able to present two presentations every night. And praise the Lord, yung 25 na New Beginning Sermons and 24 na present namin in two weeks. Praise the Lord! The Holy Spirit helped me preach fast. I don't know if the audience understand fast also. <laughs> so, the reason I am trying to do that is because in the Great Commission, Matthew 28, 19 and 20, it says, Go! So we went, right? Teach! We teach! And then baptize! That's for the pastors. And it says, Teach all things! So that means the Great Commission encloses all of this. And if you cannot teach all things, you cannot go, you cannot teach, you cannot baptize. Hindi complete. Baptism is only one part, right? Teaching and not teaching just little, all things. Sabi sa Great Commission, of course, in the book Evangelism, sabi, you will not teach everything, mabibilaokan sila. So, uh, basta ano yung timer natin? Huh? One minute na lang? Okay, so, uh, time out muna. And then, nag, uh, nag, uh, nag, pinagsalita rin ako sa hapon ng, uh, ito, matindi. Babanatan ko kayo lahat. <laughs> sa, sa voice, ano tawag dito? Sa fellowship. Nine daw na churches. Pinagsalita ako ni Pastor Rafael Dog. Nagkamali yata siya, in-invite ako magsalita. Last day events and fundamental beliefs. And meron akong sinight doon, usually sinasabi ko yung mga bagay na hindi masyadong nadidiscuss. Sabbath cooking. According to the Bible, the spirit of prophecy, and Adventist.org. Sabi ko, huwag kayong sasagot at susumbat na wala kayong research. Yan lang tatlo. Huwag niyong tanungin yung katabi niyo. Bible, spirit of prophecy, Adventist.org, our official website. And the truth is very heavy, very powerful, and grabe. I am very afraid na ano, ayan, time out na persecution na ito pag sinasabi mo yung katotohanan. Okay, since uh, I'm a time out, five minutes is so short. Let me just end with encouragement from Assurance of the Success Christian Service. It says here, God will do the work if we will furnish Him the instruments. God will accept the wholehearted service and will Himself make up the deficiency. Kung kulang-kulang tayo, God will make up the deficiencies. Every deed of righteousness will be immortalized. Lahat ng ginawa natin tayo, kahit dalawa lang yung binyag natin, Apat ba? Hindi naman natin. Oh, hindi ko alam. Sige. If you truly consecrate your will through your instrumentality, God will use you. Okay. So, really, even if we don't see, live to see the results of what we are doing, the spirit of prophecy assures us that our work, God's work, is assured to be successful. Amen. We have heard and taste uh, different stories from different aspects and different themes and right now we, the last two things is from the foreigners and from the working scholar association may i request the foreign foreigners to <laughs> yeah this is from team Maklan. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Bennett. I'm only wow. Um, 
Is it okay if we could extend it to maybe seven minutes? Seven minutes. Of good. It's good. Okay. But before I start my testimony, I would like all of you to please, thank you very much, please bow your head to me as we pray. Father in heaven, Lord, we want to thank you so much for all the goodness that you have showered upon us through this Voice of Youth experience. Lord, as I share my testimony, I pray and ask that you may fill me with the Holy Spirit and fill us all with the Holy Spirit. May your name be glorified and not mine. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so we have seven minutes. Seven minutes to summarize a whole week's worth of experience. Um, I went to a clan with a lot of other youth, and um, because of the shortness of time, I'll probably just share with you one experience that I've had. Um, we went out for home visitation one day. It was... Um, there was a typhoon actually and people were wondering oh are we still gonna go out um, maybe we should just stay home and be safe but we went out in faith anyway and God has blessed all of us that had went out um, one experience that we had um, we went out in the afternoon it was around um, it was almost becoming six o'clock it was almost six o'clock and we were all tired and just drained. Our energy levels were so low. And um, we went to our last house with the goal of just singing, praying for them, and go. But little did we know that God had a different plan for us at that house. So we went to that house. We sang for them. And the family was like, oh, please come in. Please come in. And we were like, no, 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 no. It's OK. We're just going to leave. We're going to pray for you and, and go. And um, they were like, no, 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 just, just come in. And so we ended up going inside the house, and we introduced ourselves. We introduced where we came from, because a lot of us are from uh, different countries as well. And we invited them to come to our crusade, to our nightly program. And the father of the house, he asked us a very, very interesting question. Very, very quietly, he, he looked at us and he said, what are, what are you doing here? Why are you here? You don't know me. I don't know you. We're not related. What, what brings you here? What is your purpose here? And as my, one of my brothers um, started to answer his question, and I really took his question to heart. And I asked myself, what, what am I doing here? What is my motivation to be in this place on a rainy day with people that I hardly even know. And because naturally, as human beings, we're very selfish. Let's just face that fact. There's nothing in us that makes us good. We can care less about others and just focus on ourselves and can be doing good for the wrong intentions. But, you know, even though that I'm not, uh, I'm not a preacher, I, I've never studied at uh, Bible school before. I've never given a Bible study at all, but there was one thing that I knew for sure was that God's love for me and God's love for each and every individual inside that house, inside that family. And so I decided to share with them the reason why we were there was all out of love. Because who in their right minds would spend their holidays with people that you don't know? Who in their right minds would go walking out into the typhoon? And so I decided to share three verses with them that are that we all grew up learning as children and have stored in the back of our minds. That was 1 John 4, 8, God is love. God is love. And so I shared with them that. And he has manifested his love through he has manifested his love through giving his only son, which we can find in the Bible in John 3, verse 16. Naturally, it doesn't make sense for someone to sacrifice so much for something so little, something so worthless. But he has given us that gift freely because he loves us. The only reason why, he, why we love God in the first place, the only reason why we go out telling other people about his love is because... He has loved us first. In 1 John 4, 19, it says we love him because he first loved us. 
now do we deserve his love no have we have we done things that always please him no have i been the best christian that i could be not at all but what amazes me is that no matter how messed up i am and no matter how many times we fail no matter how many times we have fallen short of his expectations of us he desires to still use each and every one of us he's willing to put up with whatever it is that we still are holding back he's willing to work with the little light that we have i didn't share some huge bible study but the simplicity of god's love has the effect to touch everyone's heart and that and before i close i just wanted to share with you okay i wanted to share with you something that i i've read in christ's object lesson christ's object lesson page um 419 it says listen carefully there is nothing that christ desires so much as agents who will represent to the world his spirit and character there is nothing that the world needs so much as the manifestation through humanity of the savior's love the last rays of merciful light the last message of mercy to be given to the world is a revelation of his character of love now if you have your bibles with you i'll, I'll just end with this um, last verse it's found in matthew 24 verse 14 if you have your bibles with you matthew 24 verse 14 it says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come what will further the gospel what causes people to want to know about who god is is when the world it says witnesses people who don't just preach about who god is but who actually demonstrate and live his character of love each and every single day of their lives as i as i shared with them god's love and i close asking them will you accept will you accept the gift that god has given you will you ex will you open your heart to the love that he has shown you as they nodded their heads i realized that the only thing that this world really desperately needs is love and i know it sounds cheesy and corny but it is the truth and so i pray that each and every one of you um will love each other just as much as uh, as christ has loved us so may we pray that the holy spirit will really teach us how to love one another and know what love truly is Amen.